hello so uh, let me aware the patient of this keratoconus the patient mostly in the hilly areas gets affected by keratoconus most okay so like uh, if you stay in the hilly areas what is happening the sunlight which is falling on the mountains it is reflecting the uv rays basically is affecting the keratoconus it is reaching your eyes and this it may cause keratoconus okay and the patient a child might have some kind of itching symptoms okay so if your child is itching his eyes regularly or he is having his blinking like this or he is not uh, like he is uh, not able to perform in his school properly he is complaining of difficulty of vision you are seeing that the eyes are getting swollen or the patient is having too much of eye allergy right so definitely consult the doctor at the earliest okay you need to con consult a cornea specialist at the earliest okay what is the to find out what is your child's problem so when i was in south india okay so most of the patients used to come from uti uti kunnur those site uh, those patients were referred to me for the keratoconus contact lens fitting okay so most of the patients in this normal weather we will not get keratoconus so much okay yes keratoconus is present in every states but in hilly areas keratoconus is mostly seen so those patients needs to be taken care of we need to do a proper refraction the optometrist must be very skilled to find out if they, he finds any kind of scissoring reflex okay if there is a scissoring reflex you need to do a keratometry you can do a, a manual keratometry okay and now if you find again if you get doubt if the patient is having a keratoconus or not you can do a corneal topography to confirm the presence of keratoconus okay so these keratoconus needs to be diagnosed at the earliest why because if it is it is diagnosed at the grade 3 or grade 4 stage there is no way like if the keratoconus progresses so rapidly one point of time there is no other go the patient can not be treated with the corneal cross linking so in corneal cross linking basically we are linking the bonds okay uh the stroma the corneal the stroma part of the cornea is actually the thickest part and provides strength to the cornea right so those cells arrangements the lamellae and the cells keratocytes arrangements get disturbed basically in keratoconus so those things those cells so that arrangements that bond gets stronger when you do a corneal cross linking right so stop the to arrange the progression of keratoconus now so corneal cross linking needs to be done when the doctor suggests okay you should not okay 6 uh, months after i will come and see and all nothing like that when the doctor suggests you need to go for a corneal cross linking you should proceed with that okay and after corneal cross linking when the eye settles down if the patient is having high amount of refractive error high amount of cylindrical error irregular astigmatism patient needs to be given a rgp lens or a rose scale lens or a mini scale or a scleral lens okay now the sclerals are the most scleral lenses are the most costly lenses why because these lenses are manufactured in boston right so each lens so scleral lens full scleral lens full scleral lens sits on the sclera only right and the diameter is much larger and the cost is also around 50000 per lenses so if the patient cannot afford at least try to afford a mini scleral lens it is around 25000 it is a little smaller version of the scleral lens this went around 25000 per lens so definitely will have an uh, way out to see okay so you have blurred vision 
you cannot carry on your lifestyle properly you cannot carry on your work by your own but this mini scleral and scleral lenses would help you a lot yes you need to practice how to wear them you need to know you need to you need an expert guidance you need an expert optometrist who will guide you who will fit uh, this kind of lenses and prescribe to you but do go for a corneal consultation do not delay by sitting at home because sitting idle at home will land up in corneal transplant at the end okay and we all know that after transplant the vision how it will get back will be restored it all depends thank you all hope it will create an awareness about keratoconus right so please wherever you see a keratoconus patient do refer them to corneal consultants okay cornea vet cornea special uh, specialist is there uh, in a hospital where cornea specialist is available please do refer the patients okay and also refer the patient for keratoconus contact lenses specialized contact lenses for keratoconus because it will improve the lifestyle of the patient a lot thank you all